I would like to, you know, compose for Ranveer Singh. I would like to compose for Ritik Roshan. Right. Ritik is one of my favorite actors, all-time favorite actors. Hi, this is Manan Shah, and you're watching me on Eastern Eye. Hi, Manan. Welcome to Eastern Eye. Hi, thank you so much. Thank so, you. first of all, I have to congratulate you for the music in Commando Three. I think Akya Milawanga, the song, is a chart buster, and I think movie released in November, but still people are loving it and people yes. are listening to it. Yeah, yeah. I think recently when you tweeted at some of the radio stations list, it is still at the second number, second yeah, position. Yeah, it's it's on second position in one of the leading radio channels in UK. Yes, and it's doing phenomenally well, not just in India but internationally also. And I'm extremely happy with the kind of response that the song is getting. And more than the song's commercial success, I'm happy that it has been appreciated by not just uh, you know music listeners, genuine music listeners, but also people, right. audiences in general. It has just been appreciated so much, and that is the biggest achievement of the song. I feel. But I have to ask you this: that of course the song has received such a great response. The video was released. Yeah. The song has not made it to the film. The uh, final cut. Does yeah. that disappoint you that you know? Maybe people would have seen it on the big screen. It would have been a bet, much better response than this. Not really. I feel the song already found its audience uh, right from the time it released. You know, in fact, even before the video had released of the song, even yes. before the film, the video had come out. So even before the video, we had the jukebox, jukebox already on, yes. already up. And while the jukebox was up, the song already had 40 covers. So the or, song had already found its audience. Right. So the song, irrespective of it being in there in the film or not being there in the film, it didn't make any difference because it already found its listeners, and it's still growing. Right. I mean, yeah. So a good song, or you know, it doesn't you know need a film to have a boost or something. It the song will, if it's heard by a listener, it organically grows. Right. That is what I personally feel, and this was mainly for the promotional purpose, where you see a chemistry between the protagonists. Yes. And that is why we promoted. Uh, to have a wider audience to come out and see the film. Right. So I think I read it somewhere. Uh, it was after a long time you got Ajijit and Ankit together for a music yeah, album. Yeah, yeah. How was it to get to work with them? Because I think you have earlier worked with them uh, as well. Uh, uh, yeah, Ankit. I worked with Ankit Tiwari for the first time. Yes. And Ankit uh, is a fun, wonderful talent himself, and what a wonderful singer and a composer himself. and i feel that ankit um, has a certain earthy tone which is what you know was the need of the hour for the second song mai bora mai bora tu so ankit was my first and the only choice for that song so coincidentally it was ankit on board and arijit right. and me i mean come on arijit and me we've been having an equation for the past 8 years we are friends right so we used to work uh, together at pritam we used to assist him together and uh, that's how we became friends and akhya milavanga marks our first association together and uh, i feel it's the perfect song for us to collaborate and i wanted something you know with arijit if i'm collaborating with him i wanted to take something special with him you know to put forward something which is not which is something different right so, and i am happy that arijit came on board for our song so of course you have done commando franchise for vidyut then you would you have done namaste ring and for arjun Yeah. I'm sure there would be some kind of an actor in your mind you want to compose for, like the dream actor I want to compose and maybe sung for him. Oh, there Who are many. Who is that? There are many actually, but yeah, I would like to, you know, compose for Ranveer Singh. I would like to compose for Ritik Roshan. Right. Ritik is one of my favorite actors, all-time favorite actors. There are many. There are many. The list is non-ending. <laughs> okay, so you know, I have to ask you this: as you are a music composer, there are a lot of debates that takes place mm. about the recreated versions. That is a trend now. What's yeah. your take on it? Well, I personally, I'm, I endorse recreations, and I don't even endorse recreations. I would like to, if you ask me, if I want to recreate a song, I would love to, but then I would recreate a song which is not so popular, but a beautiful song, a beautiful melody, right. which you know today's yeah. generation has not heard. So I would like to make them hear that beautiful melody, because what happens is some in those days also, films used to fail. So when film a film fails, at that time the albums also used to fail along with the film because right. it was a collective effort. Nowadays, music and films have separated. Right. Yeah. So at that time, it used to be a collective effort, and us time me itne achhe achhe gaane the, jo popular nahi hue. I would like to pick those up and you know, have my own take on those songs and present it to people. So what's happening next? What's there in the pipeline for you right now? I've been working on independent music a lot. And okay. And uh, there'll be I'll be having about like about eight to ten releases this year and next year also. Oh, that's great. So singles yeah. basically music singles, videos. Singles, yeah. singles, and all we're collaborating. And there's a film also in pipeline. I would like to talk about it in in you know sometime once I once the film is announced. Right. Yeah. 
it was lovely talking to you thank you so much thank for being you, with us thank you so much thank you